Today we have with us the all new Maruti Suzuki Beleno the premium hatchback from the Maruti Suzuki company which is available at the Nexa showrooms Today we are here to review this car and in this review we'll first be talking about the styling followed by the performance of this vehicle then the features which is one of the most important things followed by the practicality that is how many storage cubbies and how large those storage cubbies are inside this car and then followed by the trunk area as well then we're going to talk about the comfort of this car which i think is the most important thing while you think of buying a car and then the pricing of the all new maruti suzuki bellino so watch this review till the complete end and without any further ado let's get into it Now before we start this review I would like to say that we are a considerably new channel so consider pressing that red subscribe button to never miss a video from our channel and the main USP of our channel is to give one of the most detailed reviews also a very special thanks to Maruti Suzuki Auto Vogue the Nexa dealership here in the industrial area of Chandigarh for giving me this amazing car for a review they have an amazing inventory of all Maruti Suzuki and Nexa cars and you can check them out using the links in the description below and now with that said now let's finally start the review of this car so to start with the styling of the Bellino i must say that this car is the perfect blend of sportiness and elegance if you talk about the accentuating lines all over this car and the curves they really blend in to make this car such a sporty character and the attention to details here and there complement the elegance of this car such as the chrome bar that is given below the grill over here well even that has been extended into the headlamps of this car and it's as if it's an unbroken line of chrome which lot of people don't even notice but it really looks nice and if this hadn't been there i seriously would have thought that somewhere incomplete but it really looks beautiful because it is there and talking about the headlamps we have a projector headlamp set up in this car along with an L shaped DRL given down below which i think looks really cool also a key detail and a thing that i really like is the styling of the front splitter of this car which i think is really aggressive now talking about the side profile of the bellino this is where we start noticing the curvaceous design of this car because this is where it's most evident the second thing we notice is the beautiful 16 inch alloy wheels in this car which i think really look cool one thing that i would like to appreciate is the amount of chrome used in this car which i think is just perfect now because these are diamond cut alloy wheels over here they do have this chrome garnish over them talking about the ha door handles they have chrome garnish over them as well and down below the window sill we can see chrome garnish there as well this is just the right amount and i don't think that they needed to overdo it and underdo it as well because this is just perfect and now coming into the rear of the maruti suzuki bellino it's a simple hatchback design with a chrome bar over here which does look really nice one thing to notice over here is that the only thing we see over here is the bellino badge and the nexa sticker which easily can come off other than that we do not see any kind of badging of the model number of this car because this is the alpha model that is the top model in the manual transmission where well, you don't have a badging over here and similarly in the lower models of this car you do not get to see any kind of badging of the model number of this car which i think is a really cool clean design for the car and i like that talking about the tail lamp array in this car it's the bellino tail lamp array everyone knows that it has a very unique design which goes with the look of the car really well it is an led tail lamp array the brake lights of this car are led but the reverse lights and the indicators are normal halogen bulbs now i couldn't for the life of me get to know what these lights are if you own a maruti suzuki bellino please do tell me in the comments down below i tried everything but these lights simply just couldn't turn on anyways one thing to notice over here is that as you can see other than the bulbs over here we have this l shaped design given down below which i think is a really small little attention to detail which a lot of people didn't notice that just like the drls in this car which have a l shaped design these led strip over here also have a l shaped design which is a similarity between the front lighting array and the rear lighting array of this car which i think is a cool little easter egg 
talking about performance of the Maruti Suzuki Bellino, this time around we only get a petrol engine available in both manual and automatic transmissions. However, we do have some variants which get the dual jet technology. If we talk about the engine numbers of this car, well, the manual and the automatic get the same engine of a 1.2 liter petrol engine capable of producing 82 horsepower and 113 newton meters of torque. But the dual jet versions, however, get an extra 7 horsepower, which makes a total of 89 horsepower and the same torque of 113 Newton meters. Depending on the variant that you buy, the mileage of the Maruti Suzuki Bellino varies from 19 kmpl to 23.87 kmpl which is a whopping range. Now we've got all of this information about the engine performance and the specs and the mileage from a specific website that we have linked in the description down below. So go check them out. Now time to talk about features and I'm going to start with the steering wheel of this car which is a beautiful leather wrap steering wheel with a great fit and finish and feels really good in the hand. It's also a multifunctioning steering wheel with controls off this side to control the display in this car. Uh, with the mode button, the mute button, the track tuning buttons and the volume button which is pretty standard. Down below over here we have the call button such as ending the call, picking up the call and the voice command which is powered by your phone which is standard in all Maruti Suzuki cars. Other than that the steering wheel is pretty standard and nothing more interesting to show over here. But we do have a display in this car in the instrument cluster which we are going to talk about. Now right now this is the menu screen and the home screen of this car as you can say which shows us the bar of the real time fuel economy, the average fuel economy of this car and the range of this car. Down below we have the odometer and the total kilometers this car has been driven which is pretty standard and can be changed from this little stock over here. But we have another stock in this car which is for the screen over here. If I press this it shows me a different screen which shows me a whole bar of the average fuel economy of this car and then when I press it again it shows me a bar along with the drive time of the average speed in this car. Next up we have the time and the date of this car which obviously is not set right now because it's not 2015 and then going forward we have the torque and power display because this is meant to be a sporty hatchback from Maruti Suzuki that is why they have given this display of the instantaneous power and the instantaneous torque of this car which is given in real time and is a really cool feature. The next up we have a blank display which is not for being disturbed. For example, you're driving the car and you don't want to see anything in your display. It's called the decluttered display. At that time you can press this up and nothing would show on. And then next up we have the menu screen that is the home screen of this car which we have already talked about. But that's not all this display has to offer because there's a hidden menu which you have to press this stop for 3 seconds which then appears. As you can see it's on your displays right now. Now we have a bunch of different options on this display and it can be controlled using rotating this stock. If I rotate it in this direction as you can see it goes forward and if I rotate it in the opposite direction as you can see it goes back. But first off we have distance unit so if I press this we have kilometers and miles so if you want to change that for some reason you can do it. Then we have our fuel economy which is the units that is kilometers per liter, liters per hundred kilometers Kilometers, miles per gallon US miles per gallon UK so if you want to change that this is your option display over here forward we have language which is English French Spanish German and all that other jazz and we go back into the fuel reset over here which is after refuel with trip A or manually. Now this is really cool but why that is I'll give you a small little demo. For example you go to a fuel pump and get your car refueled. What you do is come back and so as you can check the fuel economy of this car according to you, you always come and reset your meter. But this car, if you press after refuel, the car would do it automatically. As soon as the car has been refueled, it would automatically reset the odometer according to zero so that you can manually check the fuel economy of your car. So this I think is a pretty cool feature. Then we have temperature which can be controlled through Celsius or Fahrenheit. If you want to change that, this is your display. Going back, we have our set sensors which is normal mode and trailer mode. Now, why this is a cool feature is because this car has rear sensors for parking this car, right? So when you have a trailer attached to your car, which means you're towing something, at that time that towing 
object is really close to your car that is why whenever you will put this car into reverse at that time the sensors would go crazy but if you put on trailer mode at that time the sensors would know that there is a trailer behind the car so obviously they won't go off so you can change it through here and this i think is also really cool i just put it back into normal mode going back we have clock settings in which we can adjust the clock 24 or 12 hour format and adjust the date which is pretty standard so let's just go back into door lock so if i press this we have door lock auto lock auto unlock and alarm so these are different options if i go into door unlock we have all doors and driver door now this is also a feature that i really don't understand sometimes now what that is because in Maruti Suzuki cars when you press the unlock button on your key fob at that time only first the driver door opens and you have to press the unlock button once again so as to open all four doors of your car but if you don't want that you can just simply come into all doors over here and then press this now whenever you would press the unlock button at that time all the four doors would unlock by themselves i really don't understand the use of this feature but anyways Maruti Suzuki does give it then we come into auto lock which is speed synchros or manual lock now which means that when you're driving the car and the car goes above 20 miles per hour at that time the doors would automatically lock but if you don't want that you can just go into manual mode and the car's door would not lock until you press the lock button on the door so you can do it from this display going back all these options are similarly in the same way so let's just go back into the main menu where we have lights so if we go into lights we have foot lights and lane change now i'll uh, explain what lane change lights is because foot lights is obviously just lights that are given in the footwell uh, we're going into lane change over here now first off if i press this stock and just release it i don't want to go right but i'm just going to press it and then release it as you can see it blinks three times even though i have released it but this is actually the lane change indicator but if you don't want this you can just turn it off as you can see if i leave the stock at that time the indicator turns off as well so i'm just going to put it back and then go back into the main screen where we have guide me lights now we have two car or two home now guide me lights is actually that when you unlock the car the drls of this car would turn on so as to tell you where your car is that is the two car option and you can adjust the time for what time you want the drls of this car to be turned on say 10 second 15 second 20 second or 25 second similarly we have to home which means that when you lock this car the drl will still stay on for 10 or 15 seconds or 20 seconds whatever time you want to turn it off and if you don't want them to turn on at all just press off so let's just go back and then back once again where we have anti-theft which is the sensors of this car you can put shock sensor shock sense p shock sense f all that stuff which is pretty normal and uh, the good thing in this car is that you can adjust it according to your liking so then we have display item which is the car color the color calendar display the calendar form and the fuel economy history so this is all that this display has to offer those are all the options all the different stuff that this display has to offer and i think it's a really cool display with the amount of features that it has now the last feature of this instrument cluster not the display the instrument cluster is of this blue light over here now as you can see it's dark blue right now but this is actually the fuel economy meter of this car while you're driving in real time when your car is having the best fuel economy in that specific gear at that time this light would change accordingly for example you're driving in second gear and you're driving really good and the fuel economy is the maximum that it can give in second gear at that time this light would turn green and if it's not the maximum well then it's just going to turn blue telling you that you could do better and you could drive in a better manner now the next display of this car is of the infotainment display and it's the next feature of this car which i really like but i have given a detailed review of this display in a separate video which is linked in the description down below and an information card on your displays right now so go check that out if you want a detailed review of this display now outside this car there are two features that i want to tell you which i think are pretty cool first off is of keyless entry like 
in other videos as well i have explained what keyless entry does it essentially means that you do not need to take out the key out of your pocket ever because you can just have the key with you and then you can perform all the functions of this car such as opening the door locking the car unlocking the car starting the car and every single thing with just the key fob in your pocket so that's a pretty cool feature and the next feature is of uv protective glass in the top model of the maruti suzuki bellino now these windows what they do is protect you from the harmful uv rays of the sun and an additional benefit is that due to this uv protection there are a little bit of tint to them that means that it would also save you from the sunlight and the best part is that is actually legal you must know that you are not allowed to tint your windows but as this is not an actual tint it's a uv protection film and that too from the factory it's 100% legal so i think that is a pretty smart idea now we're going to start the practicality of this car with the glove box in this car as you can see we have enough amount of space for keeping a lot of stuff in this car and it's a fairly standard glove box you don't have cooling or lighting just the glove box and a place to keep stuff moving on to the center console over here we have a very large storage cubby over here for keeping your phone and other stuff we get two cup holders over here and below the handbrake of this car we have an indentation for keeping some stuff as well The armrest of this car also doubles as a center console storage for keeping some stuff over here and it's a decently large cubby. Over on the driver side you also have this cubby for keeping toll receipts and coins. The door bins of this car are decently large and we also have a bottle holder over here. In the rear seats we have seat pockets for the passenger seat but weirdly there is no seat pocket for the driver seat over here. In the center console we have a very large storage cubby for the keeping the phones of the rear passengers and even with the phones it can also store a lot of stuff. In the rear seats there are no door bins but we do have a bottle holder. And now coming to the most important part of our practicality session and that is the trunk in this car. So first we're going to talk about opening this car's trunk and then we're going to move on into the space and loading area of this car. So talking about opening this car's trunk, we only have one way to open this car's trunk which I simply don't understand because I have the key over here and we have the smart Nexa key of this car which has the lock button and the unlock button but I still don't understand why Maruti just doesn't give a button for opening the trunk in this car anyways we only have one way and that is through the request sensor given below the trunk and then you can easily open the car's trunk just like any other hatchback Now the trunk of the Maruti Suzuki Bellino according to any hatchback is very large which I think is a really practical thing and you can easily take this car for a long road trip without any problem. You also have this cargo tray over here which can easily be taken off through this hooks and then you can level the cargo tray as well and then you can store some stuff over here as well because it is pretty sturdy and nothing would even happen to it if you keep something heavy as well. Now although I am a really big fan of the large trunk in this car according to a hatchback which I think is really practical and really good but I still have a little bit of complaints number 1 is that we do not have any kind of organization in this car's trunk and number 2 is that the loading lip of this car is really really large so that means if you want to load something heavy inside this car you would have to pick it up a very large extent in order to put it inside this trunk but other than that this car is really practical And now talking about comfort in this car which I think is one of the most important parts of car buying well the seats of the Maruti Suzuki Bellino are very very comfortable they're fabric seats and they have a very cushiony response due to which when I sit inside this car they really hug me in place which I think is really cool obviously being the front seats i can move the seat back and forth i can move the backers back and forth which i think is really cool and so all in all i can easily say that going in a long road trip in this car would not be a problem for the front seats let's move on to the rear seats and see if i would be comfortable back there So coming into the rear seats of this car you just saw I was sitting in the front seat and I'm pretty tall 6 feet 1 even still when I come into the rear seats you can see that I have about 4 or 5 inches of legroom in this car which is amazing talking about the headroom I do have about 2 inches of headroom as well so seriously I can say that this car is very spacious but the real question is about comfort the seat material is obviously same as the front ones they're the same fabric soft seats so 
seat material wise there is no problem and the space is also good like i told you so i don't think that you are going to have any kind of problem going in a long road trip even if you are a kid or an adult in the rear seats of a maruti suzuki bellino but let's move on into the middle seat over here where we have the transmission tunnel well yes there is a substantial transmission tunnel in this car but i have seen higher transmission tunnels that too in maruti cars so that's why i can say that the bellino is a big improvement over there and the seat material once again is obviously the same so yes i am pretty comfortable over here as well the only caveat being that i have to place one leg over here and one leg over here other than that this car is pretty flawless now let's talk about pricing the maruti suzuki bellino is available in mainly four variants and two hybrid variants out of which we do have some automatic variants so if you talk about the pricing from the lowest model to the top model i will be just telling you the prices of the on road car without the registration cost because obviously registration is different in every single state so that is why i will be telling you the on road prices without the registration cost so the base model of the maruti suzuki bellino that is the sigma model is available at a price of 6 lakh 12000 rupees once again on road price but without the registration The Delta model that is the mid model of this car is available at a price of 6 lakh 97000 rupees. The Zeta model of the Maruti Suzuki Bellino is available at a price of 7 lakh 82000 rupees and the top model of this car is available at the price of 8 lakh 50000 rupees. These are all the prices of the manual variants of the Maruti Suzuki Bellino but if we talk about the CVT that is the automatic transmission well first off the automatic transmission is not available in the sigma model that is the base model of this car it is only available from the delta model and the delta model CVT costs around 8 lakh 63000 rupees on road without the registration cost but if you want the zeta model in automatic well that car would set you back 9 lakh 24000 rupees But if you want the top of the line automatic variant well that car would cost you 9 lakh 95000 rupees so those were the prices of the automatic variants of this car but we still have two variants left and that is of the smart hybrid technology namely the delta shvs and the zeta shvs the delta shvs is available at a price of 8 lakh 17000 rupees on road without the registration cost and the zeta mild hybrid system car is available at a price of 8 lakh 78000 rupees so that was the prices of the maruti suzuki bellino i personally believe that it's a very genuinely priced car according to the prices that are going around of all the other competitors of this car that is my personal opinion but anyways with this we complete our review If you like this video please give us a thumbs up comment down below what you think about our video share this video as much as you can and especially share it with someone who is interested to buy a Maruti Suzuki Bellino and a subscribe would also be appreciated thank you for watching our video